Hey everyone, welcome to uh, Bad Joke Saturday. Uh, I, I hope you are in a mood to laugh. <laughs> if you are, you probably need to go someplace else, but let's try this one. So this first one is, is, a, is a story. It's a, a story that I heard on television, actually, in a game show on, on Family Feud. So it's a true story. Uh, and and uh, Steve Harvey was, was interviewing the contestants and he, he came to the first guy and, and the guy was telling about himself and he says, you know, I've been married for 49 years. And Steve Harvey says, wow, that's amazing. What's your secret? He said, great vacations. He said, for our 25th anniversary, I, I took my wife to, uh, to Italy and next year I'm going back to get her. Now this next one is a story with a moral. Okay, so a husband and wife are, you know, just getting out of bed in the morning and the, and the wife is looking at herself in the mirror and her, and her birthday was a few days away and her husband says, what would you like for your birthday? And she thought, she says, I'd like to be eight again. So her birthday came and he took her to the amusement park and they, they went on all the rides, they went on the roller coaster and, 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 and all the death defying rides and, and and you know they had all kinds of junk food and, and and she was you know getting kind of nauseous her stomach was upside down and and you know she really wasn't feeling it until they left and and then he he took her to mcdonald's and, and got her a happy meal uh with extra fries and a chocolate shake and, and that didn't sit too well with her either and and finally he took her to the movies and got her popcorn and m ms and and, and finally, they, you know, they went to an ice cream parlor to that and they had ice cream sundaes and they got home and, 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 uh, and she was just, you know, she was miserable. And uh, the husband said to her, so, uh, so how did it feel to be eight again? Did you got your wish? He goes, honey, I was talking about my dress size. So the moral is, no matter how much a man listens, <laughs> we probably won't get it right. Okay. So, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> that was a really bad one. So this last one, um, teenage boy uh, passes his driving test. And he's all excited and he goes to his father and he says, hey dad, I really, you know, I passed my test. I really would like a car. His father said to him, you know what? I'll get you a car, but uh, there are three conditions. And the first condition is that you bring your grades up the second condition is that you, you study the Bible. And the third one is you cut your hair. So after a while, it gets a report card and he, he goes from a, a C average to a B average. And uh, he said, his father said, that, that's great. He, he said, and I noticed you've been reading the Bible. He, he said, yeah, he said, yeah, but you know, but you didn't cut your hair. He says, but but I, you know, my dad, I, I was reading the Bible. I looks like you said, and I found out that that Samson had long hair, and and Moses had no long had long hair, and and John the Baptist had long hair, and even Jesus had long hair. Thinking he's going to win the argument, and his father says, you know, son, you're absolutely right. And they had another thing in common; they didn't have cars either. They walked. And the day and the stories. I hope you have a blessed day. Uh, maybe you laughed a little bit at how corny my jokes really are. Have a blessed day. See you tomorrow at worship. Bye bye.